Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about a really fun subject, and that's play in animals. Let's get a little introduction so that we're all on the same page. I'm sure you've seen dogs fetching sticks, or cats playing with ribbons, or maybe even your bird in a cage playing with some kind of toy. Well, these animals are doing something called object play. Object play is obviously where the animal plays with an object, and it helps them practice their cognitive and motor skills. There are five rules of play to help figure out if an animal or organism is actually playing instead of doing something else. So the first rule is that there is no purpose to the behavior. The second rule is that it's free and natural. The behavior happens maybe on the spur of the moment. The third rule of play is that the play has to include different movements than functional behaviors. The fourth rule is that the movements during play have to be repeated, varied, and creative. Which brings me to rule number five. Their behavior should be free from stress. A lot of what's known about animal play comes from mammals, but our researchers really wanted to know, do insects play? And they use this lovely little creature, the bumblebee. So let's talk about the methods they use to investigate play. The researchers designed an experiment where they could observe bee behavior. I'm just going to draw their apparatus here and I'll explain it in a second. Over here on the right hand side is the nest box where they nested. There's a tunnel that goes into the experimental arena and on one side there are little wooden balls that are mobile and on the other side are little wooden balls that are stationary. If the bees kept going, they found themselves in an arena that had food both sucrose and pollen. The researchers then looked at video of bee behavior in this arena over 18 days. Just a note, they tried to make this experience as low stress for the bees as possible. So what did they find? Let's talk about the results. First of all, they found that bumblebees really like rolling balls. And in fact, one of the bees rolled the balls 117 times over those 18 days. The researchers also found that once a bee explored the mobile ball area, that they preferred going back to it. It was also more common for young bees to roll the balls rather than older bees. And you can see here on the right that what's been playing while I've been talking is some video of the bees playing with and rolling those balls. So let's talk about what this actually means. Do the results show that bees actually play? Let's discuss. We're going to head back to see if this bee behavior meets those five rules of play we talked about in the introduction. So the first is that the rolling of these balls is not functional. The bees didn't seem to have a destination in mind. They didn't try and eat them or mate with them. So there's not actually a functional role of the behavior of playing with the balls. Second, they chose to roll the wooden balls. They had options and weren't forced into anything. The third rule of play, the rotation of the ball as it rolls is different than other movements that a bee would normally do. For example, a bee going to pollinate a flower is a very different movement than the rotation of rolling a ball. And they didn't roll any faster as the experiment went on, which a lot of animals do with functional tasks like eating and trying to find things. The animals get better at them as time goes on, and that's not the case with play. On to the fourth rule of play. The duration, the distance, and the route that the bees took with the balls were varied. There was clearly not a plan. So they have what could be called creativity with rolling the balls. The researchers also did not find any stress indicators from the bees. So looking at the evidence for these five rules of play, the researchers decided that it was enough evidence to suggest that bees in fact do play. So what does this mean? Let's talk about some conclusions. First of all, insects enjoy play. This might mean that insect minds are more complex than we've previously realized, and that we may need to think more closely about how we treat insects. One way that we can do that is we can learn more about insect behavior. So I challenge you to go out there and do some research about your favorite insect. Hope you learned something today, and don't forget to go play.